Title IX is a federal civil rights law that protects people from sex discrimination in schools, education programs, and activities that receive federal money. Most people think of Title IX in terms of college sports. When Title IX became law in 1972, it resulted in greater opportunities for female athletes to compete in college sports and earn scholarships. However, Title IX impacts far more than girls' sports. It protects all students and employees, regardless of sex or gender. It protects students in every Denton ISD campus, class, club, and extracurricular activity. Title IX states, no person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefit of, or be subject to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. It protects students and employees from discrimination and harassment because of pregnancy and related medical conditions, gender stereotypes, sexual orientation, and gender identity and expression. In 2020, the U.S. Department of Education made significant changes to Title IX. The changes are intended to improve the processes and procedures for investigating claims of sexual harassment. One goal of the new regulations is giving more rights to people accused of sexual harassment. Under the new regulations, every Denton ISD employee may receive a complaint of sex discrimination. Even if your job description has nothing to do with sports, students, or discrimination, if you become aware of a situation of sex discrimination, you cannot ignore it. You must stop what you're doing and report the complaint to the Title IX coordinator. Now more than ever, all Denton ISD employees need to know what sexual harassment is. Under the new regulations, there is a new definition for sexual harassment. Under Title IX, sexual harassment means one of three things. First, quid pro quo. A school employee makes an aid, benefit, or service conditional on a student's participation in unwelcome sexual conduct. Two, hostile environment. A person is subject to unwelcome conduct that is so severe, pervasive, and objectively offensive that it effectively denies a person equal access to the school's education program or activity. And three, sexual violence. Sexual assault, dating violence, domestic violence, or stalking. If you become aware of sex discrimination or harassment, you should immediately report it to the Denton ISD Title IX coordinators, Dr. Leslie Wajardo or Dr. Robert Stewart. Additionally, you can email Dr. Wajardo or Dr. Stewart to notify them of the situation and the process of making a report. After a report is made, a team of administrators will evaluate and investigate the complaint. This team includes a Title IX coordinator, an investigator, and a decision maker. Both parties will be given fair and equal opportunities to participate in the investigation. The evidence will be carefully considered before any findings are made. The parties may choose to participate in an informal resolution process such as mediation or file a formal grievance. Supportive measures will be offered to the parties as appropriate. Supportive measures should be designed to restore equal access to the school's educational programs or activities. They may include counseling, schedule changes, or increased supervision. Our schools should be places where students can learn and grow in a safe and healthy environment, free from harassment and discrimination. Under Title IX, every person, regardless of sex or gender, deserves an equal opportunity to participate in our educational programs and activities. With your help, we can achieve this for all.